Welcome back Huskies to another edition of Husky Connection. Hello, I'm Samantha Groves and I met up with the Exercise Science Program to get an insight on the new research program they are conducting. Not to mention the two-year contract that provides $20,000 worth of equipment to them. Let's check it out. This is, uh, you're in the Exercise uh, Science Department, you're in the Physiology Lab. Uh, my name is Dr. Mukherjee. I'm a professor of exercise science. You are in the room that has what's called a DEXA unit. DEXA is an acronym. It stands for dual x-ray absorptometry. What this machine does is we have Lydia over here demonstrating for us. This machine scans the total human body. And we can get different measures of body tissues, for example, body fat. We're more interested in the bone density. And we look at, uh, from the DEXA scan, we'll get a picture and from the picture we can determine the bone density in her vertebrae, in her spine, in her uh, shoulders, in her hips, uh, etc. Those are the areas where we see most of the effects of osteoporosis and this is what affects the elderly the most. Hi, I'm here with Valerie Handy who's a graduate student with the Exercise Science Program. So what is your role with this study? With this study, I'll be working on the actual patients running the machinery. I'll be able to identify uh, their different strength levels. I'll be recording the information, um, helping them along with the actual protocol. And then over the two year course period, we'll be able to see the changes with their bone mineral density. And how does this help you as a graduate student? As a graduate student, it's hard to get um, the experience for research, and that's what I'm mostly interested in. So I was really lucky to get this graduate assistantship that's funded through this company, so I can get not only an education here, but also the experience that's valuable when it comes to applying for jobs. Valerie setting the equipment. Lydia's going to do this exercise that's an upward pull like this. It's sort of like a deadlift exercise, and once again, we have these EMG electrodes on her, and this will record the muscle activation pattern. The instrument here will tell us how much force she's exerting. I'm here with Sam Maskey, and he's also a graduate student with the Exercise Science Program. Um, so what is your exact role with this study? Well, I'm actually analyzing muscle activation, so that's just the millivolts of electricity going through your body in order to get the muscles to perform the task at hand. And how does this help you as a student? Uh, it allows me to uh, analyze data and actually get ahead of the competition, basically. Um, just like Valerie was saying, I can analyze data and do research for more clinical kind of occupation. So this is leg press. What she'll do is press against this for 5 to 40 seconds to increase um, the muscles pulling on the bone. So the point of this exercise was we're working the hips, we're working the knees, we're working the large muscles of the hips, the legs, etc. And the point is if we stress these different joints, over time the bone density will increase. We have about 12, 20 males, 20 females, healthy college students. The larger study will involve getting people from the community, the aging population, and that's where we're going to look at what's really happening with the bones. What we have yet to answer, the Recommendation is that you contract for 5 to 40 seconds, but we right now don't know what's the optimal protocol to use, so that's why we're testing this. Isn't that just amazing? Hope everything works out for them. Thank you for checking out Husky Connections. See you next time.